Welcome to the second interview in the United States Capitol Historical Society's new series, Uncle Sam's Architects, focusing on the history of the architects of the Capitol. I'm Ron Saracen, president of the Society, and I'm pleased to introduce our second guest in the series, the ninth architect of the Capitol, George M. White. George M. White graduated from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology with undergraduate and master's degrees in electrical engineering. He received an MBA from Harvard and a law degree from Case Western Reserve University. He's a registered architect and engineer. He's a fellow and former vice president of the American Institute of Architects. President Richard Nixon appointed him architect of the Capitol and he assumed that office in January 1971. As architect of the Capitol from 1971 through 1995, White created the master plan for the future development of the Capitol complex. He oversaw construction of the Library of Congress James Madison Memorial Building, the Hart Senate Office Building, the Thurgood Marshall Federal Judiciary Building, and the Capitol Terrace infill areas. His accomplishments included the restoration of the old Supreme Court and old Senate chambers, the partial restoration of National Statuary Hall, the restoration of the Capitol's West Central Front, and the interior restoration and renovation of the Library of Congress Thomas Jefferson and John Adams buildings. His conservation efforts included the rotunda canopy and frieze and the Statue of Freedom. In the Congressional Office buildings, he improved electrical, electronic, fire protection, and transportation systems. Other work included the expansion of the Capitol Power Plant and planning and design for the National Garden and the Capitol Visitor Center. George White, it's a pleasure to be here and to have an opportunity to join you in your home as we talk about your experience as architect of the Capitol. Happy to have you here, Ron. 